Good morning. You're joining with ITN News and I'm Pankajakulutunga. First, the news headlines. Sri Lanka is to withdraw from co-sponsorship of UNHRC resolution. The national program to develop 100,000 kilometers of roads commenced. Sri Lanka Railways has introduced e-ticketing system to reservation of seats for pensioners. Japan will provide aid to construct a causeway in Buttala. Hong Kong passengers head home after quarantine on Japan virus ship. And now for the news in detail. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha says that the Sri Lankan government has decided to withdraw from the process of co-sponsorship in relation to the United Nations Human Rights Council Resolution 30 upon 1. He stated this issuing a statement yesterday in response to the recent decision by the United States of America to prohibit the commander of the Sri Lanka Army, Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva, or members of his family from entering that country. He stated that even though this collective punishment has been meted out on the grounds that the army commander had committed violations of human rights, no one knows what these allegations are. Meanwhile, UN Human Rights Chief raises concerns regarding Sri Lanka. Commissioner Michelle Bachelet stated that Sri Lanka has made some progress since 2015 in promoting reconciliation, accountability and human rights in line with Resolution 30 upon 1. However, emphasized that the inability of the government to deal comprehensively with impunity and to reform institutions may cause the recurrence of human rights violations. The national program to develop 100,000 kilometers of roads commenced under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajpaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksha in Deltota yesterday. The objective of this project is to develop 100,000 kilometers of roads which come under purview of the Road Development Authority. Under this program, alternative roads will be identified and widened to address high traffic conditions in cities such as Colombo, Kandy, Kurunagala, Ratnapura, Gaul and Mathura. The President also met the vegetable sellers at a Galaha area and inquires reasons for vegetable price hike. They pointed out that dispatching vegetables from the farming areas to Damulla is the major cause for price increase. The president agreed to find a solution for this problem with effect immediately. Sri Lanka Railways has introduced e-ticketing system to reservation of seats for pensioners with railway warrants. Accordingly, pensioners who have railway warrants will be able to receive reserve tickets, seats directly through online or by producing pension or national IDs at Fort Railway Station and 47 other stations. Earlier, the Railway Department issued railway warrants to pensioners on the recommendations from the Grama Niladari and the Divisional Secretariat. The government of Japan will provide a total amount of 175,246 US dollars for the project for constructing a causeway in Buttala, Monoragala district and a psychiatric unit of divisional hospital Nilveli through its grant assistance for grassroots human security projects. The contracts were signed yesterday at the ambassador's residence in Colombo between Ambassador Akira Sugiyama and Venerable Nagulle Nandaratanathera. Constructing a causeway in Buttala aims to improve access to remote villages in the area. Retired Major General Vijita Ravipriya has been appointed as the Director General of Customs. The Prime Minister Media Unit said the appointment was made last evening. Major General Vijita Ravipriya of the Sri Lanka Artillery Regiment during his tenure served many command and staff appointments in the Army, including General Officer Commanding 57 Division. He held the office for the Commander Security Forces Kilinochi as his last appointment prior to his retirement. 
The felicitation ceremony to mark the International Mother Language Day will be held tomorrow at the Independent Square in Colombo under the patronage of President, my apologies, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajpaksha. This will be organized by the Bangladesh High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, Riaz Hamidullah, together with the Ministry of Education. Winners of the art, essay and poems competition, which was held in line with the event, will also be awarded. The ceremony will take place at 8.30 a.m. Ministers Dinesh Gunawardhana and Dallas Alha Peruma will also be present at this occasion. <coughs> Four students are reported dead after drowning in Madawachi tank in Gumurakandavela Police Division. The incident has taken place at around 4.30 p.m. last evening. The police say the students who are from a school in Haliela area had been on a field trip in the area. A total of seven students had drowned in the tank. However, three of them were rescued and admitted to the Gumarakandavala Hospital. Gumarakandavala Police is uh, conducting further invitations instructions. That brings an end for today's news bulletin. Join us tomorrow. Signing off, I'm Pankaj Krutunga. Have a good day.